Wagyu potato tartare with black caviar and raw Wagyu. Even their appetizers is pretty bling bling here. That's how you know you've come to a very good spot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rocking episode. And I am here in Roland Heights, which is really east in Los Angeles County because I'm gonna be checking out a truly rocking restaurant today. But I'm not doing it alone because I have a very special guest with me, Stephanie from the Dining Dolls. Hi so guys. where are we at today? Today we are at Chubby Cattle. It's the first all-you-can-eat Wagyu experience in the USA. You heard that right. So Chubby Cattle has all-you-can-eat A5 Wagyu barbecue. Truly one-of-a-kind fine dining experience. So I encourage you to stick all the way to the end of this episode because I'm going to show you a really amazing all-you-can-eat barbecue experience you can have here in Roland Heights at Chubby Cattle. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, we're going to be heading into Chubby Cattle and we're going to get some A5 Unlimited Barbecue. You ready? I am so excited. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Just to give you a little background, Chubby Cattle has been around since 2014. This is not the only location, but this is the newest location, and it's a pretty outstanding spot. Most elevated, all-you-can-eat yakiniku experience that you can have anywhere, and they're still expanding, so this is so exciting, huh? This is so exciting. I cannot wait to try this. You have the exclusive look at our largest flagship location in Roland Heights, Chubby Cattle Barbecue. All you can eat Wagyu, all you can eat seafood. Here as you walk in, you will see a display of all the Wagyu that you get to experience. They're all from our own cattle ranch. What's unique about our cattle is that we raise our cattle with our own feeding program with Masami Ranch in California, in Oregon, in Texas for our domestic Wagyu. Then we work with Japanese and Australian Wagyu ranches for all of our international Wagyu cuts. So when you come and eat here, you get to experience all types of Wagyu and you find out which one you like. It could be A4, A5. So you get to choose your cuts and your favorite cuts. Here we have Chubby Tea launching. So when you're here, you have unlimited bubble tea when you come dine at Chubby Cattle. Uh, on top of that, if you're just coming into our Chubby Tea concept that's launching next month, you'll get to see a little bit about the premium tea at an affordable rate and we can't wait to share that with you as well. As you walk in, we understand waiting can be a problem and waiting has always been a challenge for a lot of other locations and I, the biggest feedback I got is that you get to wait two hours in the weekend and we have a solution. We came up with an arcade station for everyone that's waiting in the waiting area. Uh, we will set up very fun campaigns that allow you to actually win potentially a free meal, comp meal, if you beat the leaderboard of certain games. So we'll have those set up as well. Here we got the Chubby Bar, where we also have barbecue options right here. And you get to experience barbecue and also full bar uh, out here. We'll have alcohol programs that are all you can drink as well, so we're coming with that. When you walk into the space, I hope what you see is a feel of retro, of, of modern, contemporary Asia, and also traditional Asia experience at the same time. So hopefully when you walk in, you will get to experience what Japanese yakiniku is all about. Uh, the environment fits with the food as well. So here, obviously we have all the tables where you get served and you can enjoy your barbecue dining experience. But here, you get to have your own Wagyu rice, your curry rice concept, you have your miso soup, and all of the different sauces that we recommend and the pairings that you get for the different sauces as well. There are a couple of different sections. We have vegetables that are available here for you to pick up as well to go with your barbecue, go with your seafood, go with your meat options. We have pasteurized eggs in this section. Uh, unlimited ice cream, of course, for you to make uh, at these sections. Here, we got the Otoro Bar where all of the raw Wagyu dishes, raw sushi dishes are made. We have a lot of nigris for you guys to try. Can't wait for you, Steve and Stephanie, to try that later on. All of our cuts of our dishes with barbecue will be displayed here, freshly made every day. What we want our customers to really experience are the cattles that are maintained properly at all of our farms. We have a strict feeding program for the cattle at our ranch. We want to make sure that the customers get to experience them fresh and not frozen so that they can experience our cattle cuts and you can taste the difference. Ooh, here's my favorite room out of uh, all of our chubby cattle where you get to enjoy a meal of barbecue with your group but also sing karaoke Whoa. at the same time. So what's better than singing and, and eating? That's always been a favorite activity of mine just to 
eat with friends, and then come up and sing a song. So we'll go pick some songs later and see what's your favorite song to sing, Steve. <laughs> we're gonna sing together? Yes, we're doing it. <laughs> Just like with all the other Chubby Cattle locations, they have a few different price points. We're gonna get the most expensive one because that's pretty much where you can get everything. $85 per person, that's all you can eat. Yeah, Wagyu beef. So I have their iPad here and you can order all kinds of dishes from different menu options. So right now we have the diamond meat, which is their most popular menu, their premium menu. So we're, you're gonna find dishes like A5 Wagyu, short ribs. And they also have American Wagyu and Australian Wagyu selections. These look great. Beef tongue, pork belly, there's so many goodies. But to be honest with you, the most, the most thing that I am excited about is the A5 Wagyu because it really doesn't get better than that. What a good way to start off. This is the A5 Wagyu beef soup. I love the color of that. It looks so appetizing. Never had this before. By the way, have you been to Chubby Cattle before? No, I have not. This is my very first time. Yes, me too. Did you know really? that? No. Yeah, I've been to David's other restaurants, like all his other restaurants, but could you believe I've never actually been to this one before? Same here. And he was just finished telling me that they have about 20 locations in the US. And even more opening up worldwide. So wow. Don't think you have to come all the way here to Roland Heights, although this Roland Heights is a very nice location. But look on the website, nearest location to you. Wow, it's so rich, it's so good. It's so comforting and spicy too, a little bit. There's rice in here, right? Yes. Yeah. It's so delicious. Whatever chili oil and, and the, the fat from the Wagyu, I'm assuming, it's so rich. This is like the most comforting bowl of soup I think I've ever had in my life. And by the way, Stephanie, I think she's a little bit under the weather, so that's why you, maybe you noticed that her voice is a little bit off. So just letting you know in case you guys were wondering. And that is why I am so obsessed with eating the soup because it's already making me feel better. Nice. <laughs> so this is round one and we're gonna be here all night. Oh yeah, so this one is their diamond special. So with it, you get short ribs right there, A5 Otoro, as well as the A5 Top Blade. All right, so that's the finger meat. Look, it's marinated. It looks really good, right? And then we also have some Angus short plate with pineapple inside of it. Yeah, it's inside. As well as some A5 brisket. I think we're gonna begin with this A5 what? Otoro. This is like the beef version of Toro, basically. Does this go into any particular sauce? Yeah, so the Otaro is the fattiest cut and it goes into the light ponzu sauce just to cut a little bit of that fat. Wow, that thing is just like butter. That is like the definition of meat perfection. You're right, that ponzu sauce is really good. It's kind of like, uh, has a, like a yuzu flavor, right? Did you put a little salt on this? Try your next piece with salt. With salt? Yeah. So like this, right? Uh, yes, the salt really brings out that beefy flavor. The richness still stays, right? It's so good. Now I feel like I'm in a steakhouse. Ex exactly. You mm -hmm. you nailed it. You nailed it. Oh, off to a great start. And the next one is a short rib. Oh, this one looks very interesting. Is this like some sort of noodle dish? This looks like soba noodles, and it almost looks like this is ground wagyu. Is that correct? Is it ground wagyu? Yes. Mm. I like the sauce. It's kind of almost like a... Sesame? Sesame sauce? Yeah. Almost like a hot pot or shabu shabu sauce. Yeah, but super light and refreshing. Or in Korean barbecue restaurants, it almost reminds me of eating like naengmyeon with the Korean barbecue. Exactly. Some sort of equivalent. I can't stop eating it. We're just gonna do all you can eat this one. Oh yeah, we <laughs> love that. That's Hello. right. Oh yeah. Hello. This time I'm gonna try some of that barbecue sauce or the house special sauce. I'm putting salt because you know I'm a salty girl, but I am gonna try their sauce too. Oh, that this sauce really added this like exciting burst of flavor to it. It's but, not, it's more chewy and meaty than the, the Otoro, but it's so delicious with the sauce. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would say really get your money's worth on a lot of this premium stuff. So they have Japanese Wagyu, they have Australian Wagyu, American Wagyu too, but of course, go with the Japanese. That's where all the money's at. A5 Japanese, no one does it better. It's just a fact. 
fact. But try all of them, just so you, just so you're well versed. <laughs> all right. So the next one is the Angus short plate. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this. Since this is pineapple, the ponzu sauce would work really good, right? Do you agree? I think so. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. It's like very sweet. I love that though. I didn't. I didn't even expect this. It's actually really good. Oh it's yeah. It's a great combo. Oh, so Stephanie, what is this one? This is the A5 finger meat, it, oh. and it comes in a pineapple. I know. I see it. That's so awesome. What is the green in there? What's that? Wasabi? What? Well, since this is finger meat, it does take a little while to cook, but it's so worth it. I mean, after all, it is A5 Wagyu, right, Stephanie? Wow. So it was recommended to us to just eat this on its own because it already has a nice slather of uh, wasabi on it. So let's let's try it. Okay. It actually was not as spicy as I thought. Have you ever seen them grill wasabi before? No. That's a, this is so cool. Okay. So you're definitely getting the flavor of wasabi, but you're not getting that like nose punch, you know, totally. like super spicy feeling. So it's actually really good. We're going through them one by one. So this is the A5 top blade. Oh, I see it. It's cooking very well. It's so thin. You see that? It cooks very fast. So would you say that the barbecue sauce is just kind of like a heavier taste in contrast to like the ponzu sauce? Yeah, so heavier and sweet. So you're not going to taste as much of the, like, the natural wagyu that you're, that you're really craving and wanting to taste. Yes. It, it's good at, in different applications, but mm. I, I find that for just like the premium A5 wagyu, you just want to go for the straight ponzu and salt. Oh, salt is the key. Did you add salt? I, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. There we go. Mm. Oh. Melt in your mouth. Look, even this finger meat is done too. Oh, that thing is super good. Okay. Now I feel like I'm eating a Korean barbecue. Oh. I'm really liking the finger meat. That is one of my favorites tonight. Mm. Yeah, I like the A5 Wagyu, of course, but yeah, yeah, this is like Korean right here. So in this cutest little Pikachu cup, th this is soju in here. So they're calling it Pik Soju. Ooh, it's a slushy. It's like a fruity slushy. It's just like a touch of alcohol. You're not even going to feel it. So I don't know, maybe after a few of these, you might. But this is delicious. Kind of tastes like the Slurpee from 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, elevated. Tastes really good. It's fruity. And did I mention that you can also have all-you-can-drink milk tea? Yeah, this is part of the experience so at Chubby Tea. But wow, this is so good. Yeah, it's really good. This, I, you know, I'm gonna take a lot more of this one. <laughs> that it's is so good. It's a good dessert. It's so refreshing. And did you know, Stephanie, that this restaurant also has sushi on the menu? That is pretty awesome. Look at this. What is this? That is so impressive. And it's, it looks really good, high quality premium sushi. So we have eel unagi on the right and yellowtail with jalapeno on the left. Yeah, I see. She's in the mood for unagi. I am in the mood for warm foods right now. So yeah, this is going to hit the spot. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Equivalent to some of the best sushi I've ever had. Really? Truthfully. This unagi is amazing. Try this one. I'll try yours. Okay. It's okay. We can share foods. We're okay. grown-ups now. All right. I'm going to dip it in here. Really good. Mm. See, what did I tell you? Even more sushi. So if you guys like sushi, you're gonna have a fun time here too. This is part of the all-you-can-eat menu. This is salmon with some sort of spicy mayo on top, I believe. <laughs> they even got carpaccio here too. Yellowtail carpaccio, looks like it has a piece of jalapeno, and salmon carpaccio. I'll take them both. I love sushi any day, any time. Yes, I'll take it even here at this Yakiniku restaurant. Let's go. Mm, just melt your mouth. That tastes like something right out of a sushi restaurant. Wow. Everything here is so premium quality. It's really top notch. Every single thing that we've tried here. Yeah, and I'm trying the yellow tail. Yes, let's do it. Mmm, melt in your mouth, so fresh. That's it. You can have two totally different experiences here, or one fully encompassing sushi, um, ikuniki, all of it, everything all in one place. This is crazy. I'm telling you, this is the real deal. I'm blown away.
All right, so this is the American beef tongue. Yes, it looks so good. And what's that over it? It's a wasabi scallion sauce with sesame oil. So for the beef tongue, I usually do put in the salt because in uh, Korean barbecue restaurants, at least, they say that's the good combination. But it doesn't matter to you, right? I'm always going to put salt on anything. Mmm, really good texture. Tastes just like a beef tongue. If you guys have never had beef tongue before, I know some of you guys might not be accustomed to it, but you get used to it after a while. It kind of has like more of like a um, chewy, I would say. Taste? Yeah, it's true. But this is definitely one of the more the more rich and fattier mm -hmm. beef tongues I've had. Usually beef tongue is not known to have any fat, you know? So if you guys like yakiniku and plus sushi, they got it here and they do both of them so well. So yes, come here. Enjoy the food and also remember to follow Stephanie at the Dining Doll. She has an awesome YouTube channel. It's all going to be in the video description link so you can follow more of her food adventures too. Be the prince and I'll be the princess. It's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Oh, this is good. Oh, wow. Stephanie is kicking butt. I think Stephanie won. She's getting a free meal. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next food adventure. <laughs>